What's up, everybody? It's your boy, <clears throat> Stevie the Black. That's S-T-E-V-E-E, the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to give you another SmackDown Live review today. The go-home show before Survivor Series, just like for Raw. Was SmackDown able to live up to the hype? What did it beat Raw? I'm just going to let you know right now it didn't. Only for the simple fact that you have both Edge and The Undertaker come back. On Monday Night Raw, I mean on Friday, on Tuesday Night on SmackDown Live, there's just no way Raw would have won. There's just no possible way. I mean, first of all, the Undertaker's back on SmackDown for the first time in years, and, and Edge coming back and, and, and everything like that, there's just no way you can top that, right? So, I mean, I told you earlier this week that I was looking forward to seeing Edge and the Undertaker more than I was looking looking forward to watching Raw. So... There you go, but I'll still go down and break down everything that happened, and uh, alright, here, here we go. So, uh, SmackDown Live kicks off with Ziggler versus The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Again, as always, these guys put on a great match, great showing, I loved every second of it, except the decision. And the decision was that Miz won once again by the help of his wife, Maurice. That really got on my nerves. I was upset. We really could have had a show-stealing match with Dolph Ziggler versus Sami Zayn. But instead, we've got The Miz. What that basically means is The Miz is going to lose to Sami Zayn. That's what's going to happen. And it's really a shame because now I'm like, bro, they keep doing this to Dolph Ziggler, man. I, I would have left, bro. Like, no wonder Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow left. Because they keep treating this man like this, and he's one of their best guys. The same thing with Wade Barrett, although I can understand WWE's thing with Wade Barrett. Every time they wanted to push this man, he always got hurt. So they're like, there's no need for us to push you, because every time we do, you somehow, some way wound up to get hurt. So, yeah, I understand that. It's hard, but it's still what it is what it is. I mean, so, I mean, half the time to be loses these guys because they won't push them right. Dolph Ziggler puts on main event matches. He should be a main eventer, but truth be told, he's only an upper mid-card guy. So, again, based on The Miz winning, Sami Zayn's going to win the match. And, again, it could have been even better with Ziggler. I'm not saying the match won't be great. I'm just saying that now the Intercontinental Championship is going to be getting into Raw. And that's something I do not like, but I'll explain more of that to Friday for my uh, pay-per-view review for Survivor Series. But overall, the match was going to be an A until the decision, so which made it B. Next, we had Kalisto taking on Lurkan, an NXT call-up. Um, it was about a quick two-minute match. Kalisto he do got a quick bit of offense. Kalisto hits him with a Salida do Sol, and that's basically it. Give, so, give Kalisto some momentum heading into Survivor Series for the Cruiserweight match against the Brian Kendrick. So, C. Next, we have Carmella versus Nikki. Obviously, this was to get their issues out, so that way when Survivor Series comes, they can work together as a team. And the match was going good until Charlotte showed up and sat in the front row, and uh, Nikki Bella saw her and just flat out just started getting at her because she was talking in her face, something like that. Getting at her, and the next thing you know, all the Raw women's team came up and they started beating up Nikki Bella. And then all of the SmackDown Live's team came out, and then they started working together and... Nia Jax put herself through the uh, barricade and everything like that, and it was great. And the SmackDown Live women was, went on tall, so, um, yeah. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> that was that. The match itself, I, I wasn't paying attention to the match. I was looking at the Flash, watching the Flash, so I only caught the last minute of it or so, last couple minutes of it or so. So, yeah, there you go. But overall, that whole situation combined together was a uh, C. Next, we had Team SmackDown, you know, American Alpha, uh, The Usos, um, who else? Uh, Fondang, Brizongo, and, um, dang, who's the other tag team? Is it American Alpha, The Usos? Oh, yeah, and the, the Hype Bros against all the other SmackDown teams who didn't make the team. So that's the uh, Ascension, that's, uh, was the Vault Villains in there? I know the, uh, I don't think so. The Ascension, <clears throat> the, uh, the dudes in the skirt, I can't remember the name. The Spirit Squad, and some other team I can't remember right now. But, um, yeah, before the match came out, uh, King Bucca 
returned and he gave him a motivational speech about them and their match for tonight and for Survivor Series. So it was good to see King Booker again. And uh, <clears throat> SmackDown team won. So that's good, getting them momentum. They all work together, you know. What I didn't really see anything wrong. So, again, good for what it was. Good that the team won. So, once again, Team SmackDown pretty much standing tall all night. So, that's good to go ahead and get into Survivor Series. So, I gave it a C. And then, finally, we have the cutting edge. Edge comes out. Dude is growing his hair back. So, he looks like the old edge. But he also grew a beard, so it makes him look weird. I'm like, bro, I need to shake that beard off right now. And when I heard that song, go, you think you know me? And I was like, oh, man, I miss that song so much, bro. And I remember back when I couldn't stand this guy, and none of us could. But just to hear his song, bro, it, it was amazing. Again, this is why people watch wrestling for the story, for the nostalgia, for that's what wrestling is. It's not there to compete with the UFC or boxing. Those are in its league of its own. That's like saying the WWE is trying to compete with the NFL. That's just not going to happen. Those are two different sports. Yeah, it competes with it on Monday Night Raw, and depending on what game it is for, uh, uh, depending on what game it is for uh, Sunday night. Me particularly, the only game that would take me out would be an Eagles game, and which an Eagles game did, but it's when we lost to the Cowboys, and well, Doug Peterson lost to the Cowboys. For all of you who don't watch my Eagles video, which you should, they're good videos, and I get a lot of views on that, so go check that out. Um, but anyway, so the SmackDown 5-on-5 uh, five five team comes out, uh, <clears throat> Edge is trying to pump him up, you know, he's talking about James Ellsworth, how he em em uh, embodies the SmackDown Live opportunity thing, and AJ gets into it with Dean and everything like that, and AJ is threatening that maybe I won't work well with the team, and then gong, and bro, I love the Undertaker, bro, but when that gong hit, it just came out of nowhere, and I was like, my heart was like, oh my god, it's the Undertaker, bro, so the Undertaker comes out, <clears throat> And again, Colin, Mr. The Herd, or whatever, talking about nobody watches wrestling anymore. <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> no. Did you hear those people last night chanting for The Undertaker? That was mad out respect right there. And the feeling that Undertaker had when he was staring Shane McMahon in the face. That was intense. Even though the WrestleMania match wasn't all that great, it was just still great to see those two in the ring together and have that moment. I wish he said something to Edge and everything like that, but he didn't. He came out there. He said that WrestleMania will no longer define who he is, and he's back taking souls and digging holes. So I was like, oh, snap. Maybe you might see him a couple more matches before WrestleMania. I ain't complaining there. And then he said SmackDown's always been his home, and that Team Raw better rest in peace. And if not... Then he's going to take somebody, take somebody's soul, take him down. Now, if you haven't heard, WWE might be teasing a Randy Orton feud with him, and if that's the case, that might mean Team SmackDown is going to lose. And I don't want that to happen. There's no need for Team Raw to win because there's nothing for them to gain. SmackDown has always been the B show, so you need everything and everything to get people to come and watch SmackDown. And what better way for that to happen than for SmackDown to win the most important match? Because there are two matches I'm looking forward to. The 5-on-5 five five, SmackDown vs. Raw 5-on-5 five, 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 traditional team. And the Brock Lesnar vs. Goldberg match. And we all know who's winning that match. And so with this news about the Undertaker setting up a feud with Randy Orton in the future. And the fact that I saw a, a, a rumor that the Undertaker is going to be facing whoever calls the team at the Rumble. Which means it's going to happen. Which means it's going to be Randy Orton. Which means I'm not liking this. Which means Team SmackDown is going to lose. Which means Team Raw is going to win. And I don't like that one bit. Not at all. Not at all. That is unacceptable. They need to change their mind. Taker could still have a few with Randy, you know, get revenge for his brother or whatever like that, but not like this, bro. Not like this. Team SmackDown needs to win. I'm going to be so upset if that happens, but it looks like it's going to happen. So that's bull crap. But obviously that was an A. So, again, like I told you earlier at the beginning of the uh, video that SmackDown Live won this week. There's just no competing with it for Raw. Sorry, I mean, it had, Raw had a lot of good moments yesterday, but come on, man. There's just no way. It's amazing how The Undertaker's presence just completely erases everything that the show that Monday Night Raw did. That's just the presence of The Undertaker. Undertaker's there. You don't care about nothing else. Anything else that happened in that show, you just focus on The Undertaker and what he's doing here, bro. And it's not WrestleMania, so it's important. So, that has been the video for today. Um, come back, because I will be giving you my Eagles versus Seahawks 
prediction video next. And if you're not down with that, I've just got two words for you. Peace out.